Hello guys, Zuljin here. Welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Indoors. Man, have I got something so sexy to show y'all today. I was working on a kitchen design with some yellow coloring and I came up with just the coolest layout. First, before we go into the build, I want to ask y'all something right quick. Just a quick question and we'll get right into it. A couple of the guys and I were talking about some sort of cooperative deal now i'm talking about like challenging other people to build rooms like this kind of like a uh, a minecraft throwdown and i think that it would be a cool series just leave something in the comments yay or nay or another direction that you might want to see uh, this kind of creative series take although this series will stay true to its name so without further ado let's get into the build this is the Oh man, this is an eclectic kitchen. Eclectic meaning pulling from many, many different building styles and resources. I want it to stay semi-modern, but at the same time, give it a little retro appeal. And this is what I came up with, you guys. First off, I used yellow and dark wood, which just gave it a tremendous <laughs> bright and cheery feel. Right up top, I used the, the, the um, let's see, what is it? Hardened clay which is part of the um, the Flow HD pack. All of the other textures in the pack are from Sortex Fanfare. <clears throat> so uh, that's the two packs I'm using. All right, let's get into it. First thing is the I wanted to keep the entrance way a little simple yet uh, still sophisticated. So I got a little fresh herb garden for the kitchen, a uh, couple of flower center pieces up top, and a uh, little painting one to the side. Right next to that, I chose to go with um, something like a, um, uh, almost like a closet for pots. So that's where the pot storage is. I used the yellow stained glass with uh, some insets in the wall. Uh, this table, y'all, wow. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking when I did this, but I can't, I like the way it came out. Uh, the anvils don't go great with the stairs, but they do give off a pretty unique seating design and it matches pretty well with the table stand, which is mainly just the carpet on top of the iron bars. And I chose to do some sandstone and sand. Um, the, the two textures don't really, really, really clash enough, so that's why I went something a little bit different in the kitchen. Uh, but all in all, I really, really like the way the table came out. Uh, it's really hard to get a unique look for the four two by two wide, like the the four size table. So I ended up going with off seat chairs and um, or um, odd pattern chairs, and it looks really good the way it came out. So I'm satisfied with it. Uh, the lighting, I wanted to do like some fluorescent lights, but you can't really do that too well in Minecraft. But these hanging. Uh, light fixtures were great. Uh, it's kind of like the studio lighting that you'd see in a modern kitchen, although it's a little bit different. I'm not pleased that I had to use the levers up top uh, because they're still sort of exposed, but they were hidden enough for me to be able to get away with it, so I'm okay with that. <clears throat> the flooring for the kitchen, I decided to go with hay bales. <laughs> yeah, the top of hay bales looked very, very good, and it was distinctive enough color. Uh, kind of gave it that uh, kitchen tile feel along with some sandstone, so I was happy about that. Uh, I used this little design in the on the island, which is basically just some birch stairs and some jute boxes. The jute boxes kind of give this cabinet appeal. So it was a nice little island. You can't really place anything on top of here. I could have put something in the middle, but I figured that the island fixture was just good enough for me. Um, I went with the classic refrigerator design that I had showed y'all a few tutorials back uh, for stainless steel uh, refrigerators. And I used something a little bit different for the oven this time. Um, pretty much the same backward furnaces with the buttons on the front and the pressure plates at the top. But I found this cool firework texture. It's a firework store that fit in the item frames and looked really good. Behind here I went with a couple of glowstone lamps along with some hoppers. And that gave you the idea that it was kind of like a vent hood. And I extended the iron blocks right up, kind of like a, um, a chimney or a chute that the uh, that the vapor would go or the uh, the smoke would go when you'd be cooking. Uh, I went with um, not too intricate, but a little design feature with the dark oak stairs, dark oak half slabs, and dark oak wood. 
uh, to give a little bit of notching up top and to make it look all right. I could have added some extra cabinets, but every time that I tried to put a cabinet painting up here, um, it kind of took away from what I wanted it to be, and I wanted it to just be a shelf. I didn't want it too busy. I already have the, um, you know, the refrigerator and the stove on this side. I decided to do a little wooden cutting board here and go off with the countertop, which I used the yellow wool for. On here, I did a couple of cabinet features and just a little bit of decoration up top. I figured that this was a nice touch with a couple of vines, kind of like some wallpaper or a little backsplash, along with a, um, a decorative plate and a, uh, a little brewing station. Um, kind of can emulate some glasses or some other type of kitchen dishes. Uh, down here, I went with a classic couple drawer look on a piece of the countertop. And here I did a couple of cabinets in front of a cauldron and a hopper just to give the idea that it was uh, sinks, you know, with the faucets uh, with a little bit of lighting back here from the glowstone. Uh, this was supposed to be a dishwasher. <laughs> I didn't really know of any way to make it really unique. So I chose to go with the hopper cart and a piece of gray carpet right on top. And uh, it kind of emulates a dishwasher. I don't know. <laughs> you know, it's got like a kick plate and a little top. Typically, it would come up uh, with countertop just across here, but it didn't give it enough. Um, it didn't. It just didn't do enough for it. So I decided to go with gray and just another set of drawers here. Um, this was pretty unique too. I wanted to do something on a wall that wouldn't. Um, that wouldn't exactly constitute its furniture. So I went with a couple of shelves and I did a clock up here like you've seen in the other room. And I also just did um, <clears throat> a little bit of pot storage, a small herb plant, a couple of books maybe for some cookbooks and stuff, <clears throat> and another brewing stand up here. And this was supposed to be some kind of like a, um, a buffet or an armoire, although I didn't have a whole lot that I wanted to do with this I wanted to keep it similar it, you know similar to the, the the rest of the room design and I just wanted to do something different to take up some space on the wall so um, take this for what you will I really don't know what to call it but it's supposed to represent furniture in the room and of course I ended up blending the same floor pattern into from the dining room that we had did uh, a couple of episodes back uh, on into the kitchen and I took the open floor design just for the, the kitchen itself um, and the area that I guess you would cook the food in is segregated by the tiling. So all in all, it came out really good. This is pretty much like a breakfast nook or a cocktail table, so to speak, and this would be the formal dining room. So a couple of uh, viewers had suggested that I do something like one large build and interconnect them with an exterior design and all. And I really just want to focus on interiors for this design series, but I will be doing some builds and stuff like that in the future. I just, I really want to hone my skill, guys. And as y'all can see, I, I feel like I'm improving. I feel like I'm getting better at what I'm trying to do. But I've got some great ideas in the works. I've got some patio designs that I want to try out, some more kitchens, some more bedrooms, uh, a couple of bathrooms. There's all sorts of designs, so um, that's going to be it. I rambled long, long enough, guys. I hope you all enjoyed the build, and thank you all so much for watching. As always, this is Uljin signing off. Have a good one.